Hey everyone, so in the last patch, Shatter got buffed to 1 mana, and it made me want to try out Ash Kindred, and it went way better than I thought it would. So Kindred is a 4 mana 4-3, and when you slay a unit, she marks the weakest enemy and kills it at the end of the round. So if Kindred survives, you basically get to kill 2 units every round for only 1 removal spell. And then we also run Ash. She's a 4 mana 5-3 that frostbites an enemy on attack, which means it gives that enemy 0 attack for the round. And then once you've reduced the power of 4 plus enemies to 0, it's worded this way, so you don't only have to frostbite enemies, you can also reduce their attack with things like Troll Chant. But yeah, once you've reduced the power of 4 plus enemies to 0, she levels up. And then she gains this aura effect where enemies with 0 attack cannot block things. And so the crazy part about this deck is that we are frostbiting so many things for Ash, and that allows us to kill so many things for only 1 mana. With Quietus, you kill a unit with 2 or less power, or I mentioned Shatter, it deals 4 to an enemy if it has 0 power. And so combining these with Kindred lets us kill two things for only one mana a lot of the time, which is pretty insane. And so for our other ways to frostbite enemies, the first one is Ice Veil Archer. When you play it, you frostbite an enemy. The cool thing about this is that this actually goes through Spell Shield, since it isn't actually a spell or like a skill. And so notably, this will work on like Sivir or Rumble, potentially even things like Pantheon later. You also have Frozen and Fear. You frostbite an enemy, and then you also summon a Rhyme Fang pack, and you grant it plus one plus one for each time you frostbite in this game. I believe it starts off as base 1-1, one, one, so the minimum this can be played as is a 2-2. Two, two. But since we're frostbiting so many times, this can easily get very big throughout the game. But like the worst case scenario is you're summoning a 2-2 two, two, and stopping like an enemy's attack, as well as advancing the progress of your Ash and enabling the combo of like Shatter and Quietus to get free kills, or use Rhyme Fang Wolf to kill it for free. When this strikes a unit with zero power, you kill it. But yeah, so just in worst case scenario, it's not that bad and it has the potential to be really insane late game. We also have Harsh Winds, just Frostbites two enemies at burst speed. And then Rhyme Tusk Shaman. I honestly want to run three of these, I just love this card. It's just an insane engine since every single turn you start Frostbiting the strongest enemy. It just makes their attack so bad, and starts enabling all of our other things for free. Like basically every time they want to attack, their strongest enemy just like can't attack, it's just gonna be shit stats. And then on your offensive turns it's still strong, cause like it stops an enemy from blocking. It can allow you to get free removal with like Rhyme Fang or Quietus or even Shatter, and you can start to get your Rhyme Fang packs to have like insanely good stats. Yeah, so basically we're going to be killing so many different things for like very cheap with Quietus and Shatter, or like Rhyme Fang Wolf, or Vengeance, and then Kindred like doubles the value of all these removal, so it's very hard for opponents to actually get units to stick to their board. And then the enemies they do have left can't even block because of Ash's ability, and because of her Kindler, a lot of times we can actually have multiple Ashes on board, and can get even more with Harrowing. Harrowing can summon a bunch of different Ashes, and freeze multiple things to stop them from blocking and just have like a guaranteed win. It's like so strong that I almost want to up this to 2, and it seems so easy to get into the late game. The weakest part is I guess like the very very early turns, that's kind of why I added a minion in the deck. So at least we have like Ice Veil Archer, minion, and the sentry used to have like something early. Because around the mid game it's just so easy. We can punish enemies from open attacking with things like Troll Chant at burst speed, Harsh Winds at burst speed, Three Sisters as well can have a Flash Freeze at burst speed. And Rhyme Tusk Shaman immediately freezing on round start kind of punishes their open attack and makes them want to develop. But then if they develop, they're going to get hit with things like Frozen in Fear, Ice Veil Archer, Shatter. And so just kind of forks them and they basically can't really do anything. They can't kill you with like straight up attacks. And so because it's so easy, I almost like want to have a second Harrowing just because you probably will survive into it. But yeah, so far I've never had to rely on Harrowing. It's just been like so easy to win without it. But yeah, just a thought I had. I'm really interested in like refining this deck even more. This is my first day playing with it, so this probably isn't the most refined version. If I keep playing with this and I like figure out a way better version, I'll try to have like a separate deck list in the future if you're watching this um, in the description. This is actually surprisingly good and I want to like keep testing this and keep refining it to really see how strong it can be. And I want to see like how competitive it can get, because like Ash has never really been good or competitive in like two years, so it makes me like hesitant to like say this will be a competitive deck. But yeah, it really just surprised me of how strong it was today. Yeah, so I hope you guys give it a try and let me know your guys' opinion on it in the comments. That's it for me though. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. Maybe even like the video, it really does help me out. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks. Oh no. We're playing... This shit, this shit. This Seraphine human again. Ugh. Maybe I keep her Kindler, honestly, because they're gonna be really annoying. They're gonna kill my ass, like, for sure, right? Alright. Okay. So I got this thing. This thing will kill... It can kill anything if I keep Ash alive. The Frostbite. 
But um, I just accidentally muted my mic. Um, but yeah, like this can kill almost anything now. Maybe frostbite, obviously. But even then, they increase its health. Like now, it's just like a decent unit. Like it just trades into like this thing, for example. I don't know why he wouldn't attack, but very interesting. Oh, they run Quietus too. Very good. Very good. She kicks, huh? My hand is almost like more centered around Ash. I think I'm down to play like Kindred. Have him kill Kindred. Right? I'm not even gonna kill it. I mean, he might be able to with these spells, I guess. It's any spells, right? Like, you can get from any region? That's so silly. Okay. Wait, does he burn them? How does that work? It's only zero this round, right? So if he's not using them, that means that um he's they're gonna be actually cost mana now, which is really interesting. I think we want some procs of um of for Ash. It's five mana, which is if he can't like vengeance or anything, he can like thermo potentially. He can get excited. Aftershock, I think, also works. I had some protection, that'd be really funny. But yeah, I guess we can just uh, get a glimpse off that. Kills that for free. Oh, now we get it. That <laughs> was our next draw. No real reason to attack, but it's for fun. We are going to get Nash back with Rekindler. We could have like two ashes. I think I just take it, right? I don't want to waste my stuff on it. Okay. We have a bit of protection. We even have something to remove something. And we can freeze two things. So anything he put, the next unit he plays won't even be able to um, block anything. Are pushing a shitload of damage, right? And he has seven mana. He can reduce a lot of the things he got. And this thing gets him something too. I fucking hate this card, man. I'm so scared. I'm so scared of these decks, man. Like you think you have them, and then something just goes fucking horribly wrong. But, I mean, I, it looks fine to me. You'd think. Come on, man. Like, what could you have? It's so annoying. Like, so many times I'm just like, oh, we're in an amazing position. Like, look at this. This looks to me like an amazing position, right? And you think, oh, he's only got four mana. Like, what could they really do? And it's like, oh, they can. They can do some shit. Like, what in the fuck is that? I need to protect an ash, right? Doesn't really matter which one I do. At least I have an Anna ash alive, Jesus. I do level up Kindred. Kindred's leveled, I have an ash alive. How many ashes have died? None? I don't remember. We played. We played Kindred first. We played Ash on five. It had to die. We played another Ash on six. Then we played another one. So yeah, we have two dead. So our heroine's gonna be pretty lit. We can actually mark again, but there's like no point to kill that thing. I don't think. All right, he, he's actually getting rid of us of a spell. Thank God. You can play these again, by the way. That's so good for him. This will give us a 3-3 three, three overwhelm. <laughs> Not that great. Not that great. 
I mean, it's probably worth it though, right? Because then next turn we can, um, it'll actually level us up right away. You can play more things. You can only play like the back alley barkeep. They're both three attack though. I think I'm down to just do it. To level up Ash. Make our next draw the arrow. Which I don't think we really care about. My aim is true. All right. The so next turn we attack. And um. You can't block anything. We want to kill Victor, right? Oh, he has probably a lot of created cards. And it already goes up one right here. Because I want to be able to quiet us. Cause I wanted to like kill this, but then it marks this. There we go. <laughs> yeah, we just have so much removal. Look at our board. <laughs> it's so stacked. All right, we got Vayne Rumble. Oh, the only issue I guess is that Rumble has a spell shield. It's gonna be kind of annoying. I think I spell Archer goes right through it, right? I can hold on to that. I mean, technically we could just like Ice Bell Archer and then like double these things. <laughs> I'm down to bank all the mana. Yeah, it kind of sucks to have to use three cards to get rid of a rumble. That sounds like not very great. Because we can just kill this vein though, right? So Quietus would for sure kill it. But I'd rather use that when they put the equipment on, right? You can't tumble either right now to put equipment on. I think we just shatter it. And then deal four next turn. And that's it for deal three next turn, right? Yeah, we deal three attack. Do I play a Kindred first? I feel like I could to put extra pressure. I don't think they're gonna have any like battle tricks other than like strike spells and we have like troll champ for that. I guess we only want to sack this yet. Cause if, like th if these trade, it's like not necessarily good for us. I want to have like a thing to kill to kill something else potentially, and maybe having a blocker is good. That's rumble, right? It has to be rumble. It's a crazy spell. They have like an entreat. <laughs> yeah, as soon as they go to play. Anything we can quiet us it, right? Locked and loaded. Working as intended. So the good news again is like we can just kill this thing and this dies, right? We freeze this so he can't do any damage to us. So now he can't like take advantage of these tumbles and stuff. Right? We went right through spell shield. And then we'll just hit Um just kill this, right? And then this will mark the the rumble. I feel like he wants to surrender here. He can tumble and put on the equipment, but it's like two attack. And um it's like nothing, right? Even if he buffs it somehow, we can just uh troll chant to beat it. Or flash freeze. I don't, I don't think he can do anything here. I feel like he just surrendered. And this deck is like annoying. Kindred is like really annoying. <laughs> yeah, like what do you do to this? And I'm about to attack you for fucking what? What is that? 10 damage next turn? And anything you play just dies immediately? Oh no, this is scary. Jax? Horn. I feel like we'd be good against this type of deck. Just removing everything. Down to keep Kindred, down to keep Shattered, down to keep Frozen in Fear potentially. 
I'd even keep second kindred, it's just such, so good, right? Because he might be able to remove one somehow. I don't actually think so, right? Because they're, they're, um, oh, they have like challenger, re they have like challenger from Jax's region, I guess, is like the way they do it. But we have freezes, right? But a lot of them are slow speed. So yeah, if he can get a challenge, we don't have like troll channel, or like, okay, we got troll channel. <laughs> Okay. Hopefully get a two or three drop right here. Nope. And city plays. Strike while the iron is hot. I might have to kill it. No, I don't wanna I don't wanna waste it. I don't wanna waste my stuff without kindred. Yeah, that's a mistake, but I think I'm chilling. And now we start to go ham. Get a free kill. Then we attack right here. They don't die. I think I probably should have done something differently. I think I'm down to this frost by one to have a blocker. This next turn. Oh, I could have just shattered, right? If I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I'm trolling. That's for sure a troll. If it's a fight they want. Okay, so he has Jax leveled up. Yeah, we should have just killed it right there. And then we would have had something else dead. We had tag with anyways. But there's just no reason. Here we need some free freezes. He did waste his attack already. Oh my god. He freezes this. The frost reveals all to me. Now we can get this attack in. We need even get this attack in. And Jax is like perma um frozen, right? I mean the kind of good news about this is that me not killing Jax means that he can never like play the game. Because he's always gonna be I mean he does get plus one I guess for everything, huh? I do have a, a spirit journey though, for the future. I guess I killed Jax. Kendra will level up. Yes, I'm not really like playing this like that optimally, but I'm pretty sure we're still gonna win. Like there definitely could have been a better sequence to, to me using these spells and stuff. I know for sure I was supposed to shatter the um, Jax like right away, I'm pretty sure. Did have another one. Um, which we can just... Do we just spirit journey it? Because if we freeze, he can just get another, what, one attack? Yeah, might as well just spirit journey it, right? We can block everything else. <laughs> like, sure. Just kill it. Mark that thing. You're gonna wanna watch this. You realize it doesn't work, right? I'm not doing damage to you. <laughs> yeah, I don't see how we lose a de uh, deck like this. Like they can't. They just can't do anything. Hey, look at this. We can just do what the fuck we want. Play another big ass thing with overwhelm. 
Like any. <laughs> this is so fucked up. This is actually fucked up. We can just do another one if you want. <laughs> this game and block. Like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Dude. That's fucking funny. <laughs> and he has to, like, let something die as well. Like, Jax dies now if anything blocks and dies. He is technically alive. I guess I could have played this, but. I mean, no, if I just, if I just do this, right? It doesn't mark Jax anymore, but I can just shatter Jax. I mean, I think I'm fine. I freeze Jax, right? Let's start the next turn. So I freeze him. And, uh... You can't play another one? <laughs> Dude, this, wait, this deck is actually fucking... It feels broken. I literally haven't lost a single game yet. And that one I even didn't, like, even do effectively. I, I think I messed up that one turn. Because I was like, I didn't want to use any of my resources, like, in a way that felt bad. And... But I realized I need to block something, I'm taking too much damage, so I end up playing it, and I was like, oh wait, if I'm fucking already freezing, I might as well just shatter. Alright, we got Lulu, Jinx. We need to keep removal. Uh, probably all this. I kinda even want to keep Herring and Loki, I only have one in the deck. Um, do ever like serve? Uh, I don't think so though, like... We gotta like survive against this deck, right? It's kinda scary. We have a lot of burn and stuff. Yeah, we need ways to kill things. These will be good. Honestly, if we can stall, that's better for us. That's pretty good a pretty good spell. Mama's home. Um, deal forward if it has zero power, otherwise frostbite it. We can't do that yet. I'm not trying to double these. Maybe it's good though, to get rid of like because he gets a lot of value if he keeps like striking with that. Um, shouldn't he be scared of like getting frostbitten? Like if I had any freeze there, like brittle steel or anything like that, he just dies. Maybe I should add in some brittle steels then, if people are going to be doing shit like that. Yeah, maybe I could have like one brittle steel. I kind of needed to activate the shatter. So, something like this. Kill the Lulu. Let's get a free blocker for this. Kind of lame. Sir, sir, sir. Your Lulu is dead, mate. Oh, you know what I was thinking of, about doing? I should have done it. Um, I should have just hit that with Troll Chant, and then I could probably shatter it. I was thinking of saving my shatters for like better things than this, but like, maybe that's all. I, maybe all I need to do is kill this thing. Cause I could just kill it right now, right? So I want to be able to play Rhyme Tusk Shaman this turn, if possible. Yeah, I'm not really worried about that. I think it's fine. I play Rhyme Tusk Shaman, and I just like kill him, right? Ash levels up this turn. Uh, I could develop, but I think I'm fine to just attack. I think I do want to kill them though. I kill one.
And then what we can do is we can play Kindred. And then kill the other one with Shatter. Or whatever he plays. Whatever he plays next. We'll um, die to... We'll get marked by Kindred. He doesn't even see Kindred now, so he probably is not afraid to play Jinx. Yes. I'll either do this. And he gets marked. It's probably Surrender if he can't answer this, right? He can't even activate it. He can't even level up Jinx. Oh, maybe it's, maybe it's another Jinx. We're pretty healthy too, I think. What was it? Yeah, it was it was it get excited? <laughs> Let's go. Dude, this deck is actually like surprisingly clean. Like it's kinda scary.